Hello, and welcome to the Final Hour Podcast. Today we have Linnea Farrell. What? Uh, my name is Jim Hammond. John Gap is on his way. He's a lollygagger. Yeah, we want to surprise him. We, we wanna, do. We want him to show him that we'll start. Without him? <laughs> Without him? He was complaining last week that he wasn't number number being introduced as number two, but now... Well, yeah, what's he going to do when Linnea opens the show? I open the show. And, but we, it was a rough but, opening, but... <laughs> we are coming to you from the original Living Word Christian Center, though. But that's your line. Out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. That's like saying the Ohio State. You know those guys that say the Ohio State, and then there's other guys that We're just not, say... Uh, you know, I, I don't want to... The reason I say that is because there's other Living Word Christian Centers, but we were the first. Okay? No, Nothing sure. on them. There's a great one in Chicago. Um, but guys, uh, <laughs> One time... This guy volunteered, and I think John Gap was supposed to meet him, and he's going to be a new volunteer. So they set a time to meet, and they're both texting, hey, I'm in the lobby, where are you? And it ends up to be somebody in the Chicago Living Word yep. is in the lobby, and John is in our Living Word lobby, and they just didn't understand that they were from the other Living Word. <laughs> that was pretty funny. It is pretty funny. It's a funny story. Yeah, that's um So it that's, is funny. It is funny. That's a very good story, Linnea. Is this awkward without John? We've done no, it without not. John before. But let's explain about your shirt. Yeah, it looks nice color there. Yes. Um well This is our new merch. L- last week, um, if you look on YouTube or Rumble, you see that I wore a people call it pink. It's not a pink um hoodie. It's only pink because of the wash. It used to be watermelon, but then after the wash, I thought... It was brick red. Anyways, <laughs> I thought I could still wear it. And so the problem was we're taping today on Friday. We're trying to get this out. Um, this is Friday the 13th. Um, and we're trying to get this out on Friday night, right? Uh-huh. Um, midnight. We're trying to drop this early. Um, and so... So I suddenly I find myself, I'm wearing the pink shirt again that I wore last week. And so we had to go into the final hour podcast merchandise. Um, and I thought, you know what? Um, I'm just going to buy this, right? But um, then. I, yeah, I am going to buy it. I'm going to oh, buy it. Oh, we're not going to do the game. No, I'm going to buy it. Somebody's oh, got to okay. buy it. I'm just not going to be taking the clothes. Oh, okay. I understand. So okay, I said. So, I said, wouldn't this be funny, Jim? You know, like when you when you go to a game and then they sell the game worn jersey. I said, wouldn't it be great, Jim, if we gave away your game worn Final Hour podcast sweatshirt to the first person that emails in? No, I didn't. <laughs> Hold on. I, you always want to give the good stuff. No, it's but you don't do it. You're not doing it right. Okay, go They're ahead. They're emailing now. And they're not going to get it right if you're emailing I, now. I, that was a, I opened it up they're for you. They already know. Jim, I opened it up for you to proceed with what they but, need to email in. That's when you were supposed to say what they're supposed to email in for. They're already emailing, Linnea. But you know what? You, no, you, you know what you have. You know what matter. your email has to be titled? Has to be titled um, in the title, give me that shirt. And the first give me that shirt email at the top, you have to be at the top because we only have one. That's been game worn. <laughs> and it you need to email in to hello at the final hour Oh look, John came. John yes. showed up today, guys. Yes, yes. So John. you you need to email in, give me that shirt to hello at the final hour podcast.com and you will receive this game worn only podcast one. special sweatshirt from the Unwashed. from the Jim Hammond. Only worn one time. I have deodorant stains. It's in a it. men's large. Okay. Should we all sign it? Just like <laughs> yes. autograph it? You can let us know if you want everyone to autograph it or if you want just Linnea, just John, just Jerry. Jim, why would somebody want me to autograph a sweatshirt that you're wearing if it's just my signature? Your signature is for sure going to have to be on it. I know, especially the, the people that are against tank tops. But. We won't go and there. And people okay. who just love Jim on the podcast by himself. There's people that just love Linnea, right? Uh, there, yes. yes, I met one of you. Hey, yes. I just want to say, at I was at Flashpoint last weekend. We we had Flashpoint Live um, here at Living Word, and I was at the merch table. And I just want to say thank you to everybody 
who came up and talked to me at the merch table and said how much you love and enjoy the podcast. Everybody was so great. I met such amazing people who who watch and listen to the podcast that I normally wouldn't have had the opportunity to meet. So thank so, you for coming up and saying hi. Can I say one more thing yes. about the merch table? We will have a merch table set up again with the Living Word merch. They're called Legacy Merch. Um, the week at, the last weekend of October at all three main services. So if you didn't have an opportunity to come to come to Flashpoint and buy the merch, you will be able to buy the merch at the end of October at the tables. And you'll be. I think the whole online thing will be up and going by yes. sometime in November. Yep. But we. Um, there's so much to talk about, and we're trying to get this uploaded tonight, midnight, um, Friday, uh, Friday, October 13th, because there were so many questions in regards to Israel. Can you talk about Israel? You know, um, um, because we tape every Thursday, and then it goes up midnight, Monday night, um, you know, and Israel happened on Saturday after we already taped the, mm -hmm. the, the Hamas invaded Israel. Um, southern israel out of the gaza strip and so um we uh we're gonna go ahead and and, and do this and um we're gonna do this on on israel um and uh it's it's uh it's a bad bad thing bad bad deal um uh, i've got friends over there um x x high level soldiers um i do have to say the israel tour of course we have a monday night um, meeting but i'm not going to make any decision on the israel tour i mean you can make if you're going on the tour and you don't want to go you don't have to go but um i don't i think we need to wait until a week before the tour um, to make a decision on what you're going to do there are people touring israel right now as we speak mm -hmm. there's tours and so um, Jonathan Kahn's tour goes October 31st. He's got six buses. Yeah. He's got six buses, and they only had um, five people drop out of their tour, and then they had five, five more um, immediately replace those people. So Jonathan Kahn isn't even making a decision on his tour until October 24th. So what, what we're doing is – uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk about this, you know, in the Bible, Ed, Edom, Edom, E D O M, um, the people group Edom is uh, they are the Palestinians. Now, this is uh, contested. Uh, not everyone believes this. Um, I've got a, f a rabbi friend that um, I've got a rabbi friend that that says the Palestinians are from all over. Um, they, they came from Jordan. They came from Egypt. They came from, but um, my mother, Billy Bram, numerous other people that know a lot more than me say that um, the Palestinians are Edom, E-D-O-M, the Edomites. Um, welcome to the Pilot Final Hour Podcast. <laughs> Thank now. you. Thank you so much. Look, they both have merch. I know. I, I am loving the new merch. We had it planned that John would make a, a special yeah. entrance. Dramatic. Special. Quite dramatic. Fashionably late. Yeah. Well. Or at least uh, parentally late. Yeah. Well, we're not taping on our normal day, so everybody had to juggle their schedules. Yes. So. How, how did Leighton yes. do? Yes. Well, she lost, oh, but that's okay. But She's still she... going for a team. My daughter plays tennis, and she is competing for state with her team, and then she got asked to play individuals, but she lost. But She wants to stay in the individual Tennis. I so, never has played singles ever. She's her. a doubles player, and they asked her to come up, and but that's okay. Their team is still competing for that's state cool. in two weeks. Cool. Number one. Uh, also, final hour podcast merch. They got new uh, coffee cups. New coffee cups. They, we, <laughs> us, us. Welcome, <laughs> John. Did you take that out of the merchandise box? Uh, you did. I, no, I, John I, no, it was at merch at the I table. Got the merch at the table. Oh, at we the, didn't even uh, give you guys merch. Flashpoint, we don't want to talk about <laughs> okay. the exchanging of money per se. <laughs> uh, I mean, like... I mean, we just heard, Jim, we just heard Jim say, I am going to pay for my merch. And then you're like, John, I hope we gave that to you. <laughs> it doesn't matter how John I got his merch. I would pay for John's merch. It was, it's taken care of. personal money. Yep. Wow. Okay. 
That's Thank what you. I was talking about. That's really kind. Merch on Jim. Merch. No. It's like right in. at the bar. Hashtag yeah. merch, merch on Jim. <laughs> Game worn it's, merch. It's, it's two things. It's merch on Jim that you can win or merch on Jim that he's going to buy for yeah. you. I don't know which one, but. Remember what it's got to say. Email. Give me that shirt. Hashtag. Right. <laughs> Just give, Hashtag, me give me that shirt. You got to be at the top. You got to be the first one. No, you don't be at the top. You got to be at the bottom of the emails. Yes, the emails... first one. Yes, Jim, the I'm aware. The very first one, so. I feel a lot of pressure with the <clears throat> email. It's like all writing on me to make sure the right person gets the merch. <sighs> I just don't want Daniel. any any arguments. Uh, and right? you know who Jim, it's going to be? It's going to be Michael because he listens Michael at midnight Daniel. every time. Can I say one thing about that? I had a lady... And then we can get started because I know. But this lady said that on on Monday night, she waits up. She's like, I know I can listen to the podcast at any time. I feel like her name was Deborah. I'm not 100%. And she's like, Deborah. I wait up till midnight because I am so excited for everything you guys have to say. She's like, you're the only news I listen to. Do you know how many times I've heard that wow. over the last week and That's... through emails is we're the only source of news that some people get because they said news is so trashy that they're like, I, I trust so you to give us what we need to hear. Yeah, well, and here we are with the news on Israel. We're trying to. Um, all right, what I want to do is is Edom, Obadiah. The book of Obadiah only has one chapter mm -hmm. in the Old Testament. Um, it's an Old Testament book, and uh, it, it actually it's a prophecy of the judgment of Edom. Mm. Have we talked about how Edomites, Edom, like uh, they were the descendants of Esau? Yeah, it's in here. But yeah, we it it's would it's going to make that point. But <laughs> it's in the Bible. That is in, in the Bible. Yes, thank you, John. That's in the Bible. And but anyways, yeah, you're going to see that here. This uh, is the best start ever. It, it is. It is. But you know, we I like sometimes it's been you just so got to just got to shake it up. You know, I thought you were going to say it shake, shake it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. So. It says Obadiah 1.1 1, 1, through, I go through verse 18. There's more verses after 18, but I'm going to stop at 18. Thus saith the Lord concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised, Edom, Edomites, the pride of of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Th Verse 4, thou, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou hast set thy nest among the stars, thence I will bring thee down, saith the Lord. If thieves came to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would they not have stolen till they had enough? If the grape gatherers came to, to thee, would they, would they not leave some grapes? How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? All the men of thy confederacy. Now, if you look at this, this is a confederacy. All right? It's not just the Palestinians. All right? It's, it's Hezbollah. Mm -hmm. It's the Iranians. Mm -hmm. there, okay. And, and I, I bet you, I bet you that there were plenty of, of, in those troops that invaded, that you had all kinds there. For sure. And so all the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him shall i not in that day saith the lord even destroy the wise men out of edom and understanding out of the mount of esau and and thy mighty men o Teman, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the mount of esau may be cut off by slaughter hmm. wow for thy violence against thy brother jacob that's israel all right mm -hmm. shame shall cover thee and thou shalt be cut off forever. And in the day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried away captive his forces, and foreigners entered his gates and cast lots upon a Jerusalem, even thou wast as one of them. But thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother. That's Israel. 
in the day that I became a stranger, neither should, should thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah. Again, that's Israel. In the day of their destruction. Look at all these people out there rejoicing. Too. Yeah. It's, it's American so colleges, insane. American kids, you know, kids, rallies, 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 politicians. You know, those people, can we, did, I asked if I could say this. Dirtbags. Yeah, they're dirtbags. The, Sorry. When you have do we need people, to, do we need to no. edit that? No, these people are dirtbags that are celebrating this. They are, and if you if you don't know that it's going on, then you're paying no attention. Yeah, but look, verse thirteen. Um, you know they rejoiced over the over Israel in the day of their destruction. Neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress. Thou shouldest not have entered into the gate of my people in the day of their calamity. Thou shouldest not have looked on their affliction in the day of their calamity, nor have laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity. That's going into the settlements yeah. and destroying uh -huh. their stuff. Neither shouldest thou have stood in the crossway to cut off those of this that tried to escape. Yeah. Neither shouldest thou have delivered up those of his that did remain in the day of the distress. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee, Edom, Palestinians. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yes, they shall drink and they shall swallow down and they shall be as though they, they had not been. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. There shall be holiness and Israel, the house of Jacob, shall possess their possessions. Mm -hmm. Saying in the end, Israel is going to possess your possessions. And the house of Jacob, Israel, shall be a fire. The house of Joseph, a flame. That's also Israel. And the house of Esau for stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour mm. them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. That's what the Bible says. That gave me the goosebumps. About the Palestinians. Mm. For the Lord hath spoken it. There shall not be any remaining. Mm. So there's, there's three more verses that give some inf interesting information. But that was, you know... Most of that is about um, is is about Edom or the Palestinians. So interesting, huh? Yeah, very interesting. That's that's. I like how the Lord always has the answer, and it's always Him winning. You can find at it in the, the Bible. End. I love it though. Yeah, because yeah. you you do look at this, and I don't know what you guys have seen or what you've witnessed or if you've seen anything or heard anything. I mean, some people A lot. don't see what's going on but when hamas came in they came in by land sea and air so they basically yes. it was a full-on assault it was a full-on assault so yeah. they they i was listening to this by a real army not just a bunch of knife no. carrying terrorists right, right. Okay. no by a real army i mean yes. the hamas people who came in i was listening to this lady who lives 800 feet or she like is on the border she lives in gaza so like 800 feet or yards or something from the border she was saying meters probably yeah i don't whatever she said she said it in america she was a very oh, good nice it. jewish lady who was had very good english and explained it but she was She's saying no shiksa no that one when they came in they they sent all these rockets so everybody went into their shelters and so there was nobody on the street to block these people from coming right, in so then right. one hamas came in and they started taking women children babies grandparents Grand, uh, it, they like they, the they most just cowardly took the women the most cowardly version of an, an attack an yeah offensive. and they did horrible horrific things i mean i was telling my sisters some of the things that they were doing to the yeah. children and the babies and yeah, they're like I mean, we didn't want to know this i talked to our well, mutual tell them tell them we tell them. and they, we have to yeah we need to of course they were beheading babies yes. beheading babies 40 of them 40 babies, babies and toddlers in one kibbutz and I talked to my friend Guy, who's our tour guide in Israel, and he said they were putting tires around the children and starting them on fire, and they were just watching them burn to nothing. They were raping the children. They raped grandparents, grandmothers, r recorded it, recorded themselves murdering these women, put and then they put media. it on social media. R recorded themselves raping and murdering. The These are savage animals yeah, who are, do not animals. care about human life. They, they, We're animals. And and the amount of people who said that these um, terrorists came in with American weapons, yeah, is of course. Right. 
Ted Cruz was on Megyn Kelly, yeah. and he did a phenomenal. They they talked about this. She did an hour and a half, and then he has his own podcast. And they talked about this war and how America, Biden administration, more or less, was funded, funded the, whole the whole thing. Yeah. And if you read Washington Post, said that Hamas when um, the United States pulled out of Afghanistan and left everything, they started planning started this attack. Started right there. Yeah. Six billion dollars on 9/11 was released to Iran, who is working directly with Hamas on 9/11 for terrorists. When we did the prison swap, but they're saying he's money. trying to stop that now. But yeah, now I don't believe it though. I believe and they already gave it to him, and they're just saying, "Hey, we're stopping it." But I yeah. believe they already gave. Ted it Cruz him. said fifty. Well, that America it's, it's, sent fifty billion. Yes, dollars? it's it's more like fifty billion. The six billion is from one source one proxy from the United States to to give over to Iran. It's closer to 50 billion total in this whole process that's being given directly to Iran in either in uh, goods or yep. straight up cash. Yeah, and and the who I mean they they have no they have no desire to support what's going on with the United States? No. Or Israel? No. And Ted Cruz said that he tried to he had a letter that he brought to Congress or Senate yeah. or something to stop the money. And he said 144 Democrat senators said, we don't want to stop the funds from going to Iran. I think this was in September of this year. Not senators. <laughs> congressmen. congressmen. Yeah, yeah, congressmen. Yeah. 144. Democrats said yes. I think he was one of 17 who said, we need to stop this. This is what we're funding. These mm -hmm. people are going to use this for terrorism. This is what they're planning yeah. on doing with it. No, no, no. And the and the Democrats said, send it said, over. Said, send it over. Send it over. It all goes back to the money. But what they're doing to the women and children yeah. is disgusting. It's cowardly. It is. It is. It is the worst. But they use them as human. Okay, first of all, they killed so many. Yeah. But they also use them as shields so that yep. is when when Israel attacks, comes yeah. back and attacks, they yeah. say, "Look, they're killing innocent women and children." Right. Ted Cruz said, "Like in like three years ago, Hamas had its center in the bottom of a hospital yeah. that housed women and children, so right. that Israel couldn't attack them." And stop down their their right. source of where everything yep. was coming from. Because if they did, guess what? CNN, then they get to say, yeah. ABC would exactly. be like, Israel is attacking and killing innocent women and children, which right. is what they're saying about them cutting off funds to the Gaza Strip right now mm -hmm. with water and electricity. Right. Like they're calling it, I think Alan Omar called it like a war against humanity or something right. like that. <laughs> a, a crime that. That's our stopping. illustrious. What is she? A, She's oh, a rep know. representative. Yeah. I don't who got removed woman. from the Foreign Affairs Committee because yep. of, of was, comments like this, yeah. anti-Semitic comments. Yep, yep, but yep. She's another winner we have up here in Minnesota. Pay attention to who you vote for. Look at what it comes yep. down to. Lives of yes. babies and children. Yes. Yep. Yep. And, yep. And, it makes me so mad. Yeah. And then to go back to the, you know, the Biden administration uh, funding and funneling all of these funds, if you think that it's it's simply, you know, different choices on how to run the economy of the United States is at, at stake when, when we talk about administrations and governing. No, it is actually so much more. And it, it is so much more in the way of whether or not you are supporting people that have vowed to wipe you off the face of the earth yeah. as well as your allies. Yeah. Where they, they came out of Gaza, um, you know, they had parachutists, if you look at yeah, well, if you look at the videos, are where are the planes from? Do any of us know? Well, they're not coming from Gaza, so they had to have help right. from somewhere okay. else. So they had the, they had they're parachuting in. Um, they 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 came through the walls, under the walls, right? They came uh -huh. they came by boat. Now listen, um, I want to explain something to you. I was just there in March. I was in one of these settlements that were overrun, and we had with uh, John Hagee tour mm -hmm. with fifteen. Rabbis, 15 pastors, they took us down there. Um, we saw the whole Iron Dome set up, but then they took us into one of these uh, little, little little settlements that was overrun. Um, and these people, uh, you know, because these people are so close to Gaza. Right. Mm -hmm. If a rocket goes off, mm -hmm. I think they have 39 seconds to get into. It's that close. I right? said seven seconds. Yeah, yeah. You, can, you can get over. Okay, here's the thing. You can look and you can see these walls. And there's two walls, all right? What I saw was two, two 
walls. Mm -hmm. And I just remember looking at that, knowing Gaza is right on the other side, mm -hmm. right? And they have these towers. They have these towers on the walls, right? Mm -hmm. And, um, but they're not manned. They're, they've got cameras. And th the female soldiers that are on these high-powered machine guns in these towers looking down into Gaza are back a few thousand yards. Yeah. Okay? So they're, they can shoot from the computer, and they're all females, right? So they wherever it's almost like wherever they look, the gun looks, right? And they can speak, and they can tell people to back up. And I just remember looking at all this on the walls mm -hmm. going – they're never – how are they going to get over this? How are they going to get through this? A guy also said that it was a black cloud of smoke. Yep. That this day. is the same time the rockets are going off. Right. 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 Is that they're making all these moves on the invasion with smoke. And, and Big time smoke. And froze their – some – he said they got they hacked into their computer system, froze their computers. People believe – They couldn't do anything. Who do you think that was? What have you heard? Uh, I've heard uh, it was uh, Russian help. Me too, me too. But we don't know that we for sure. Know we don't that 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 shut down, you know the the Wi-Fi. Yeah. So, um, but I'm looking at these walls, these tower, these towers, um, with the high caliber machine guns, and um, you know the Gaza Strip is in the south. Is there any can, way we, can we put that map? Yes. That we used in morning prayer on yeah. the thing. It's a simple yeah. map. But can I say one thing about sure. the cameras? Sure. I was watching this Israeli soldier say about Jim and the cameras, just so you understand. They have to stare at a screen. And the lady said they can't turn their eyes right or left. They have to stare at the screen. So they work in four-hour shifts where they're constantly right. staring at this screen. That's all they're doing. They're not allowed to move their eyes anywhere. If you move your eyes anywhere, you get removed off of the screen. So they're they're – intelligence and yeah. what they're watching is i it's, don't know unlike anything you've ever it's heard. probably like yeah. um that's why it's women that are running those guns because they pay close attention yeah, because to well, they're I didn't not show only up in the shirt i wore last week not like only Jim. that but they also are going to have a better emotional intelligence uh as to judge what's right. going on that's well I, I bet you that. that we get we get emails with guys saying saying that what do you want to bet me i agree i agree I, I just know that that's... The quarter from your garage floor. <laughs> <laughs> I bet the, you. One back quarter? quarter? <laughs> yes, Jim. Okay. That's not part of is of uh, Jerusalem, right? There's no back quarter. It's only Christian quarter, Jewish. I tell you Good what. One, that was a the Jerusalem first one joke. that emails... No, Might not be the right give, you, <laughs> say, give me that money. We'll give you the fruit bat quarter. <laughs> All right. So... Um, so we're going to have the map because you have to understand. At least look at the map. I know you can Google it, but it does, seems like no one ever does Google anything. Jerry's right? going to give them a good, good so taste of that. You'll map. see the West Bank. You'll see the Golan Heights. And I tell you what, that's what they want them to all give away ultimately is the West Bank, Golan Heights, not just the Gaza. The Gaza Strip is the weakest part that, of what they're up against. Right. Okay, 16,000 troops in the Gaza and 30,000 rockets. There's a lot more going on in the north. Can you just give a little backstory on why the Gaza Strip is so prominent? Like, why they both fight over just this little strip of land? Like, like. Well, you know, um, Bush, Bush. George. Had a, had a land for peace deal is what he called it. George W. I was in the Gaza Strip. Before the Israelis were moved out, they displaced thousands of Israeli families, moved them out. Right. Imagine if it'd be like coming to Maple Grove and say, okay, Maple Grove, you're moving in three months. Go find yeah. a place to live. We're carving out Osseo out yeah. of Maple Grove. And and you'd have to find somewhere. Yeah. This is what happened. And it's because of George Bush. We're going to give them land. It's for peace. Let's give them land. There'll be peace there. Right. Well, you see... You see where you see George's great idea didn't work out too well, mm. right? No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, and, and you know, but here's the thing: it's not just you've got Hezbollah in the north, Hamas in the south, both fun funded by Iran. Um, there's much more of a concern than just the Gaza Strip, right? All right. Um, you know. The, the Israelis spoke openly. It, this is in March. We did three in a row on on, on what oh. everyone has. 
um, what they're dealing with. And, and so you can go back and look at those, right? It, I think it's called a ring of fire. Mm -hmm. Iran's yeah. ring of fire right. is one. There's right. three of them. Because I wanted you to be very well. Uh, isn't that interesting? First, I know. Is we went through all that in detail yeah. back in March. Yep. Uh -huh. The Israelis openly spoke uh, of being far more concerned of the Iranians and what they're doing in Syria than, than they are about uh, 50,000 high, highly trained Hezbollah troops sitting in Lebanon. Yeah. See, this is up north. Okay. Yeah. And if you go on a final hour podcast tour, you will be on those borders. You'll this one, this next one, you'll be on the Syrian border. All right. And so, you know, in the Gaza, sixteen thousand Hamas terrorists. Right. Thirty thousand mm -hmm. short, mid-range, long-range rockets. Mm -hmm. Okay. They've launched forty-four hundred rockets into Israel from the Gaza Strip since George Bush made Israel hand over that land. Wow. For his land for peace. Land for peace. So peaceful. So peaceful. Good idea, George. I wonder what George I'm thinks. Really he mad. would blame he would blame Israel I right now. You comment. know he would. Of course he He's would. He's gonna have a comment. You, so many people are blaming Israel for this. It's insane. It is insane. It makes they're me not mad. they're they're not cutting off Palestinian babies' heads. No. No. Okay. That, They're not raping their women yeah. and then and then put, uploading it to the Facebook. The vicious acts of murder that yeah. I saw are it's appalling. Hard. It's hard not to hate. It's really It's really hard. hard. I mean, I'm 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 really struggling with with hating with not hating right, right now. Well, They're evil, so, evil, evil, evil yeah. people. And there's yeah. pe people have said this before, uh, but Charlie Kirk had tweeted it or what is it? Yeah. What is it? A tweet still on x.com and so yeah. Either way, uh if um if Palestine uh, ceased to exist, uh, Israel would be fine. Or if if Palestine, oh, I know what you're talking oh. about. I have it. I'll find it. I have. Help me, I, help me with that. I that took quote. A picture of it. Well, if they cease to exist, Israel's going to be be there still. They'll but just if, be there. if you flip it, or if if I guarantee uh, if Palestine it. puts down their their um, their weapons. There will be peace if, yes. if it, Israel puts be, down their we weapons. They, they will exist. cease to exist. Yes. Oh. That's that's basically that the, is what it said. the take. I mean, Israel could not be any more humane about uh, responding and retaliating to such such a terrible attack. They they warn the people that before they even go in there. Mm -hmm. Literally, Maybe not now, no, they are. I watched Israel yeah. on. Well, why would you do that? You're trying to kill Hamas people, but, but and you're going to warn them. But let me explain why. I you're talked gonna to bomb, guy. You're going to send bombs in there. You're going to warn the Hamas people first. So what? So oh. guy said what they're doing is on the Gaza Strip. They cut off water and electricity and yep. food supplies to weed out the people who are not Hamas and don't have anything to do with the organization. Why wouldn't Hamas just walk out those doors with the people? They're just because they they want to control it. They're not going to leave. Oh, and so, so they're warning these people. So they have alerts on there. If I, um, if I was one of those Hamas TVs. guys, I'd walk out with with then, the refugees. But you're pushing the refugees away from the land that they're trying to protect and claim. So he says that they're warning these people to weed out those people so they come and they get them to safety. And then the people who are left will be Hamas. He yeah. said he gives those people five to seven days before they start need, really needing yeah. food for their family. Yep. And they come out and ask for help. Then you're just left with the terrorists. Right. Let's just call them terrorists. Yeah. They're going to keep people there. Hamas is not going to let of people course, leave. Of yeah. course. But okay. Israel is doing its part in right. saying, we want you to leave. Yeah. This is what's happening. Right. They, they send like fake They're doing bomb everything noises. they can do yes. to make sure that is, innocent people have the the opportunity and ability to escape. Yes. And, and Hamas keeps them then that's in on In 15 Hamas. years. Israel has received 4400 rockets. That's 300 rockets a year from the Gaza Strip then George's George George George's land for peace deal. People that's 300 rockets a year. People don't believe that Iran is funding Hamas in the south, but they are. But they are. Different Muslims. Yes. Hezbollah, Hamas, Iran, Hamas. They believe differently, okay? Uh -huh. But they have they have they have joined together. Right. And, mm -hmm. and you had the U.S. Um, and the Russians in 2015, um, when Iran got involved in Syria, the Syria civil war, 
They brought in 8,000 troops, infantry troops from their regular army. They brought in another 10,000 troops out of their highly trained, what they call their Republican Guard, and militia from Af- Afghanistan, Iranian back, called for the Fatah. Fatah, yeah. Mayun, very well trained. But that's all these people do is fight. It's right. all they've been doing for right. years. They brought them in immediately. They brought in another militia out of Pakistan. Um, mm-hmm. and this is all coming from Israeli intelligence. They even brought in militias out of Iraq. All right. They're converting Syrian men to Shiite, then yeah. sending them back to Iran. These Syrian men who converted to Shiite, send them back. Two month boot camp, yep. train them, right. train them the way they want them trained, and then they insert them back into Syria. They've been doing this all along, taking troops out of Syria, and and t- bring them back to Iran, then then sending them back to Syria, uh, re-equipping them, rearming them. Um, you know, these groups, they, these aren't terrorists running around with knives and machine guns. Okay, it's it's a lot more than that. Um, these groups are armed with uh, precision guided missile systems in Syria. That these these missile systems have a range of 500 miles, which mm. is longer than all of Israel altogether. Think about this: the length of the state yeah. of Minnesota from the north border to the southern border is 400 miles. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. So they're looking at these well-trained combat seasoned troops running around or stationary with su- precision guided missile systems. This is Syria. Yeah. Hezbollah is in Lebanon with 50,000 troops, 7,000 of them on the border, Mm. and 140,000 rockets, long, short, and mid-range missiles. And so these groups that have been outfitted by the Iranians are also armed with some of the best anti-aircraft systems in the world. That means they can shoot down the jets. They have an army of unmanned aerial vehicles that are weaponized, drones. They are trained to operate these anti-aircraft systems, precision-guided missile systems, all these armed drones. You know, if you just what, – what have we got? 30 short, long-range, mid-range missile rockets in the Gaza, 140,000 rockets in, 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 in Lebanon. Right. We don't even know how many in Syria. Well over 200,000 rockets pointed at well, – and- Israel and Syria is also there's bases there's Russian bases so mm-hmm. who knows how much firepower is actually in Syria ready right. to unleash. It's true. Um, if you can, if there's you know I said this in morning prayer on Tuesday, but if you're going to pray for something, yes, but you know Israel's army is about five hundred and thirty thousand strong, All right? Well trained, really well trained, even their reservists, mm-hmm. right? Uh, are well trained, and uh, it's more so. Um, it's it's th- they have told me it's ammunition, right? Is what they need. Mm-hmm. If the war started in the north, Syria and Lebanon, Gaza in the south, then it would be an ammunition issue. And so, many many scholars believe my 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 mom has a twin sister that has gone. To heaven, right? Um, I mean, died, right? Maybe 12 years ago. and But her last sermon was on Psalm 83, right? And a lot of people believe this is what we are seeing in Palestine right now. Um, could be Obadiah 1. Right. Maybe, maybe not. Could be Psalm 83, right? It's a good thing to pray, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Psalm 83 and Psalm 20. If you're going to pray uh, right now, but th- this this is this is a these are well trained groups, okay? And so, you know that Hamas actually um, Hamas actually called what's the day? Uh, uh, what's it called? The the International oh, the day, day of Ven- Rage. Today, jihad? the day of vengeance. Yeah, yeah. I, th- right. I thought it's I saw a jihad. Day jihad. of Rage is what I yeah. saw. It's, I mean. I mean, so there's different interpretations for, yes. of today, uh, October 13th, Friday, October 13th. Being a day of what, vengeance and violence right. for Hamas leaders around the globe to rise up and mm-hmm. cause And on, chaos. on that note, um, in talking with people uh, in Israel who know what they're talking about, right, 
They told me, and I just will. Um, just going to relay that. We need to be vigilant here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. In Minnesota, mm -hmm. especially. Right. Yes. Um, I, I don't want to. I'm not about a fear guy. No. Um, but we live in a violent world. Mm -hmm. We need to be vigilant. We need to be watchful. And we need to pay attention. Yes. Do you understand? Yeah. Um, because what did Guy tell you? Guy talked to me the other day on the phone and he said, Linnea, you guys have a lot of Muslims in your country. He's And I said. In our state. In, in our state, state. Sorry, I meant state. And I said, um, I just said, hey, Guy, I just want to tell you really quick before you start that we did have a jihad leader on the state capitol steps say that he was calling yeah. for right. um, jihad, whatever. That when was thing. that? A couple. I tried to look it up. We okay. talked about it on the podcast, and then we also had one the morning of George Floyd when he died. That was the first Muslim call to prayer that went out from like the temple in Minneapolis. That was the first day that it happened, and he just said, "You guys, ha you guys are the Minnesota is the second biggest population of Muslims besides." Aside from the Middle East. Yes. Yeah. And he said, what happened in Israel could very well happen in Minnesota. He's like, so be alert. He's like, be, you can stand against it in prayer. I mean, he was like preaching to me. He like pulled out, pulled out his Bible and yeah. was reading it, reading it to me <laughs> on this, the phone. This, this is, is like at 2 a.m. in the morning. On the, the ground day. in Israel. Yes. We are, yeah. we are communicating with people that know what they're talking right. about. But he just okay. said, in Minnesota, be prepared because yes. you guys have allowed a lot of people in your country who have different religions, different backgrounds, different beliefs. And, he's and that like, hate us. That hate us. And Come this, on in. Well, yes. I mean, just Come look at, look the at United Ilan States. No Omar. Yeah. yeah. Who leads a lot of those yeah. people, represents oh. a lot of those people. So he just said, be prepared. But he's like, you know what you need to do with them? You need to send them to Yemen where they can have their sh uh, Sharia law and yeah. do whatever right. they want to do. But he's like, send them to Yemen. Oh, yeah. That's what he said to me. Oh, yeah. Get them to go to Yemen. I was like, okay, guy, I will do that. But can <laughs> I just right read that. really quick what, so Hen Henry Kissinger said he was, he was doing a, video yesterday and he said it is a grave mistake to let so many people of totally different cultures religion and concepts into the country with our border open and i'm sorry but i'm going to biden is in charge he let yep. people come over the border yeah it actually on ted cruz that um email leaks came out that biden officials were part of an iran regime operation regime operation they were so when joe biden was elected you guys Iranians regime regime nuclear program was in a box. Their economy was on the brink yep. of collapse. Their oil exports had cratered. But President Biden secretly was working out deals where he was funding them and aiding them and giving them money. I'm sorry, yeah. but I blame him. Yeah. Yeah, we should uh, blame him. Yesterday uh, I saw uh Jared Kushner. Oh yeah. Uh talk to Lex Friedman. Mm -hmm. Uh and he basically laid it out. He's like the Trump administration left uh, left the United States in a really good position, and, mm -hmm. and they tried to transfer all of the the different things that that were already in motion to to help with the Middle East and to help with uh, Israel, to help contain what Iran is trying to do, and basically piece by piece, uh, it has been dismantled, and we're we're seeing the fruit of that. Yeah, you you. Withdrew out of Afghanistan, yep. left all that equipment. Yep. But sent, made made Afghan made uh, um, the Taliban um, the twenty sixth largest right. uh, um, military army. in yeah. the world army in the world. We just left them billions of dollars. Yes, oh, millions. Like Eighty six billion of and uh, and of I'm equipment. sorry, but when I think of these terrorists, the Hamas terrorists coming in and t killing those children with American yeah. guns, that's where I'm that, looking at. Yeah. Where else yeah. would you have gotten them from? Uh, who knows? Yeah. Um, listen, and I Madden. know that you're getting a little bit of what I got on morning, morning prayer. Um, what I, but look, a friend of my, another friend of mine um, from Israel, um, another ex-military, he, he says a uh, 70-year-old lady friend, of, uh, neighbor of mine was killed this morning from a rocket. This is Sunday morning. Right. Okay. This is, this is text here. I took... Uh, my son and two other soldiers back to base. We were instructed to be armed. I'm not giving any of the actual names right, of right, the villages right, right. and all that. We're instructed to be armed inside our homes 
for several hours, okay, in yeah. two different in two different settlements. Still, several door to door combat units exchanging fire with several terrorists who are still alive. Dozens still stranded in their bomb home shelters with Hamas terrorists inside their homes. Uh, the Sederat police station is still held. They they took police stations. Wow. They took a whole, but but my my um, and so you know we know that obviously, oh, who knows how many Israeli civilians, um, kidnapped. Right. Right. Um, but but listen, my point is he he's writing. You know what he says. This is what he says. A very bad day for Israel of historic proportions. Mm -hmm. um, I assume a very uh, a very fierce response to evolve and it has yep right. they've besieged gaza right yeah. they are surrounded gaza with their army right mm -hmm. and they're gonna go in when they can get as many of the civilians out as they can serious intel failure on the idf's part embarrassing costly this has to be a turning point on how we handle gaza from now on so i just want to say this right all that to say this um people don't understand serious intel failure mm -hmm. okay it's very coincidental okay that most of the israeli troops were pulled off the gaza strip border right that is astounding to me and who, that, who made that order well well we it is stated that they moved the troops to other areas where there's going to be a Bethlehem. lot of tourists because it was a holy day. Bethlehem. Oh, sure. And it was a holiday weekend. And so they moved troops where they didn't think there was going to be any issues over there. And, and that a lot was, of, this was the uh, 50 years to the day of yes, the- uh, Yom Kippur, right? Yeah, the Yom yeah. Kippur War. And I was, so a lot of military- Generals, people, 63. reserves, et cetera, whatever, were on vacation with their families. And when they heard this, I, I, this is what I was talking about. I'm just saying I don't buy it, though. You, you can believe what you want to believe. Well, I, I'm that just is sharing just too a story about a guy who, too whatever it is, we don't know. And we, yeah. we I don't no, know. No, there's if a we plenty of them that are saying the right thing. Yeah, we're well, and, and, and Israel's, and Israel's smart enough to have a have a public response and and what they're actually doing. Right. And if if someone was in the in charge of making a bad decision like that uh in letting a letting their defenses down. I mean, well, I don't I don't know. I don't know why why all of a sudden they would because Netanyahu's in trouble. His yeah. government is in trouble and I know people are going to freak mm -hmm. on this. None of the Israelis believe this. But but they're not <laughs> okay. Look, okay, Netanyahu has been um, protested. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was there mm -hmm. repeatedly. Most of the country was protesting him when I was there in March, mm. because people don't completely understand. He in his government, he's got a certain number of Orthodox Jews, mm -hmm. the real religious Jews with the curls. Right, right. You see him. You see him. Mm -hmm. In airports, mm -hmm. right? With the the boxes. Yes. Yeah. You know what they believe? No fighting. Mm. No military. God will protect us. Their kids are not, although everybody else's child right. has to serve in the military over there. There's a special. They're special. Exemption. Their kids don't. So they get a, a bunch of seats in Netanyahu's. 51, 52 seat government, right, whatever it is, right. 61. He's got a, he's got a few over half, right? 64. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And, and they have a significant amount of seats. Yeah. So they're leveraging Netanyahu for sure. more money Yeah. for their little settlements where they don't send their, their kids little, into their the military. Kibbutzes. And the rest of Israel is protesting that, saying you can't do that. You can't that give them special treatment. And, the, and they're saying, you know what they're saying? If we don't get what we want, then we're going to pull out of your government, Netanyahu. Right. Right. And then Netanyahu doesn't have a government. And you know what happens? And it's not like the United States where you got to no. wait no. four years. Boom. You, there's it's another no election. Confidence. They, they yeah. Have another election. There's another election. Right so, okay, I'm just throwing this out there. Yeah. I like Netanyahu. Yeah. But he's in trouble and he's been in trouble. Yep. Right? 
And yeah. so I'm, and I'm not trying to look, 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 if you know about enough about George Bush now, what, what are these movies called? I just watched one the other day about Bush knowing about, oh, about oh the penny. Was it the penny thing? No. What oh, look? Loose look, change. Okay. I'm, yeah. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that 9-11 Bush knew so he could go to war. Okay. But if you watch, watch the movie then. Okay. Watch the movie Loose Change. There is some sketchy, sketchy oh, yeah. stuff. Well, and, and I'm not, I don't want to come down on the victims of 9-11, right? Like I don't want to dishonor no. them. No. But all I'm saying is, did Netanyahu need something like this? Oh, sure. Should well, be able it, to go to war. Wait, but the world is protesting now after they've they've put pictures of the Israeli women being raped, their children being their heads still cut being off, rip, being protested. Yeah, and they're being protested. Imagine if he would have done this, right? Right. Without this, right? Right. I'm saying, and I'm not. Don't okay. Don't write in and say that's this that. I'm right. just throwing. You're throwing out an well, I'm putting theory. out different. Different um, interpretation. Because I yeah. cannot believe uh, Joe Biden's military. Right. Yes. Right. The Israeli military pulling their soldiers off the Gaza Strip when on the day of the biggest surprise right. attack right. in 50 years. Oh, it's such a coincidence. Right. I wonder. Okay. I wonder. But so. to Jim's point, Egypt does say that they were warning Israel. 10, 20 days before this attack that something was coming. They, they had some intel. So, Egypt. to his point. Egypt is saying publicly we were warning them. Yeah. Going back 10 days. They knew it was coming. But all I was trying to say about the military guys being on vacation was my friend said that those guys, when they heard about it, they got their guns and they went and they fought. And one of Guy's good friends killed 10 terrorists and then he ended up getting shot and killed himself but he's like he he was on vacation on the beach with yeah, his family yeah. grabbed his gun ran in there killed 10 people and ended up getting murdered he himself so he's like yeah that that's unfortunate like we could have prevented things like that happening. that's how right. it started right. was yeah. okay nobody's there they're overrun they've got a scant amount of troops right. on those amazing walls right they get overrun this remember all this is happening with rockets you've got yeah. black smoke all at one screen, time uh, paratroopers dropping in and so yeah like guys like a general level is grabbing his machine gun leaving the beach and going into combat they didn't even have they didn't there was uh, you know, I mean, Plus, I, I'm sure it would take a week to get the Minnesota National Guard in there, right? But a these lot guys. Of laws would have to be, <laughs> bills would have yes, to be signed. Yes. But I will say, Guy also said, like, TikTok soldiers yeah. were making videos saying, oh, we're the only ones here on the base. There's nobody else around us. The Israeli soldiers. Why? Why? I don't know. But I just, it's astounding it to is, me. It is. It's a, astounding a to, to me. The level of their security and intelligence. Right. And they just happen to give their soldiers the day off. Doesn't doesn't seem I something just, they would do. You can believe what you want to believe. I'm, That's I'm, out of character, I'm, I'm right? The Israelis That's, can believe. It's out of character. I know. The Israelis right. can believe what they want to believe. But I can believe what I want to believe. Yeah. All that right? whole, it's all out of character for Israel. For well, and the everything guy from, we know about the it's guy from blowing. Rebel News was talking to this lady on the border, and he's like, "Why? Everybody wants to know why Israeli soldiers and military and intel weren't prepared for this." And she's like, "That doesn't matter, but that does matter because how did that happen?" Yeah, questions, I just don't trust any questions. government in this. I day. don't. Skeptic. I have you know that, but no trust. I mean, either way, yeah. a lot of senseless lives were lost in this, and by these a very, horrible human beings. I don't even want to call them human beings. They're they're they they're animals. All they care about is bloodshed and yeah. control and power. And if you don't believe that there is good and evil and demonic right. forces in this world, right. look at these people. And you know what? Sorry, sorry for the language, but screw those people in Wisconsin, and 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 you know the 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 college. Yeah. Oh, that's happening at the a U of M. Of, pro Palestinian. Ignorant yeah. college kids. Can I tell okay. you something? Pro Palestinian. Well, right. and there's plenty of adults who are siding Ignorant. with them as well. Yeah, we yeah. watched a video. Cheering. 
this morning of this guy who was like, when I saw what happened in Israel, I smiled and I cheered and it, I, it made me so happy to see what they were doing yeah. to the Israels, to Israelites yeah. in, yeah. in, um, yeah. on the Gaza Strip. Sorry. You had Jewish college students crying to deans of students saying, please stop these protests against us. They're saying, gas the Jews, kill the Jews. These Jewish girls are crying. They're like, this is against my safety. And the guy's like, I can't do anything this about it. This is American... 21-year-old college kids. Black Lives Matter Chicago chapter yeah. on their Twitter puts a picture of the paratroopers and say, says, we stand with Palestine. Pa if Palestine, you, yeah. So You supported BLM. Yeah. Like, that is but, what they So Black stand Lives for. Matter, yes. A terrorist organization. That's okay. what Trump Black calls. Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Okay. But not Jewish lives. It's, no, it's, it's so you, frustrating. Are you, are you guy, so guy, frustrating. Guy told me that gonna, the images he's seen, that he hasn't seen these images against the Jewish people since the Holocaust. Right. He said that is literally right. the images we're seeing. Right. The the level of hate towards mm -hmm. Jewish people right now, he said, is nothing he thought he would ever see in his lifetime. They're uh, in New York and Chicago on what was it Sunday, Monday? Yeah, uh, they Monday. Were, they were pro-Palestinian uh, demonstrations, but they were in the streets yeah. and guys were holding up their phones with the yes. decapitated children Babies. and and laughing and said, this is this is what we wanted. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what? You that know what? is. Yeah. You know what? I mean, I guess if it was the other side, me I wouldn't be doing that. Sick right? and if it was no. Palestinian babies, Furiated. it was any other baby. No. I would. There, no there's baby people that I dislike. That. There's people that I dislike, but I would not. The no. fact that they are celebrating that, they're just dirtbags. They're dirtbags, right? And so, look. Scum um, that's evil. Of the earth. That is evil. Scum. Listen, I want to just. Do you have Do you have other stuff, Lanaya? Well, I, I, I just want I want to get everything we had here. I, I know. I know. I know. But you know what? One day, you're going to write into the Final Hour podcast and say, Jim. I understand why you had a flip phone. I, I have no problem with that. I actually kind of like it. I like no. it, too. Well, hey, I do You're have an that. article that's this it's is from the Washington. super spy kind of thing with the oh, burners. Yeah, sure. yeah. Journal, Absolutely. but it does spy say kids. Hamas received weapons and training from Iran, officials say. So, look, the, the, it's coming out and oh, saying it. Oh, yes. That, I think that's, when but, I was on tour, obvious. when I was with the John, but with the Hagees, um, for sure they spent a long time explaining to us how Hamas and Hezbollah, who didn't work together for years, are now working together. Jeez. How Hamas, they, these are high up. Uh, we're getting briefed by colonels in the Israeli military, mm -hmm. putting two and two together right. on Hamas being funded by Iran. Absolutely. That's a given. And okay. today you have the U.S. Given. and Qatar agreeing to stop Iran from tapping the $6 billion fund after the Hamas attack. So now they're freezing yeah. the account again. Oh, oh, if they didn't already get the money. And, but, and like, I, I don't buy Blinken that. And I say again. it doesn't matter. They could have accessed those funds anyway. Right. Yes. Yeah, Such yeah. a lie. You well, heard who said that? Like they're, it's not like Blinken? they're... Blinken? Anthony Blinken? Anthony isn't Blinken. that his name? Oh, yeah. did he say the that? Blinkster. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, but that, that $6 billion was... Hey, I mean, that's it's just nothing. an that's afterthought. A drop the bucket. That's an afterthought yes. of what uh, what all of the other funds that have already been transferred. Uh, so that's that's just asinine to think that's that's going to stop any of that. Of but, course, but Biden now he's right. coming back and backpedaling and making sure he's protected himself because. Right. Well, do you think this is? I mean, moving forward, I mean, we can talk about all the atrocities, but moving forward, do you, do you think this sets up? any of the Ezekiel 38 war. I mean, for that, Russia would really have to be pulled into this because right now they seem to be, I mean, they might be covertly supporting it, but- I feel like they are. Wasn't there a rabbi that prophesied that you would see the Ezekiel 38 war um, once the Russian ships come out of the, the Black oh, Sea that, and towards- right. Yeah. Um, I also, a friend of mine- did, did we verify that the 101st Airborne is in George, Jordan? Did you? I, I, I did hear that. But okay, the 101st Airborne. I hope, I hope, I hope it's right, Jim. Right, Jim sent me, but I trust him because he's uh, he's Jimmy B. Salsa Man, Jim. Salsa Man. I Salsa, met Salsa Man, Jim. Salsa Man. Uh, some probably knows spicy, more than us. Spicy salsa. So, <laughs> you had I like some. it. He's good. Yes. Um, listen. Um, a, uh, a rabbi by the name of Alan Sharon that I was in Israel with in March. 
um, one of the most intelligent people I like, I like that I know, um, heavily involved. Uh, we is a consultant for us uh, on Jewish relations here at the church. He's a good friend. He's got three prayers. Um, did you have? Go. Are you sure? Was there anything else? Wow, this is rare. Jim's asking if I have anything to I say. I know you had a lot today. I feel like I said it all. Okay. Are we good? I mean, I'm I could great. talk about right. the horrible things, but we're good. Um. Yeah, three different prayers. He says, prayer for the captive. This is a rabbi putting this together. We do it in the name of Jesus Christ. It's, uh, um, he, he who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, Moses, Aaron, David, and Solomon, may he bless, preserve, and protect the captives of Israel and Americans. May he rescue them from captivity and speedily restore them in peace and in the merit of prayers of this holy assemblage who pray for them. May the Holy One, blessed be he, show them mercy, increase their strength, remove their pain, send them a recovery of body and, and spirit. May he return them to the bosom of their families swiftly and soon. Amen. Amen. For the welfare of soldiers in Israel and the Israeli Defense Forces, may he who blessed our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, bless the soldier of the Israeli Defense Forces who keep guard over our country in the name of Jesus. I'm praying this in the name of Jesus Christ. Obviously, yeah. he doesn't. He's a rabbi. And, and cities of our Lord from the border with Lebanon to the Egyptian desert, from the Mediterranean Sea to the approach to the Arava be they on land, air, or sea. May the Almighty deliver us, our enemies who arise against us. May the Holy One, blessed be He, preserve them, save them from all sorrow and peril, danger and ill. May, may He send blessing and success in all their endeavors. This is over the troops. May He, may he deliver to them those who hate us and crown them with salvation and victory so that the saying may be fulfilled through them for the Lord, your God who walks with you and to fight your enemies for you and to save you. Let us say, amen. amen. And for the state of amen. Israel, the state of Israel, I know this is, but I just feel like I need to, yeah, there's so much you could pray. Psalm 83, Psalm 20. All right. But father, in the name of Jesus Christ, our father in heaven, Rock and Redeemer of Israel blessed the state of Israel, the first manifestation of the approach of our redemption. Shield it with your loving kindness, envelop it with your peace, and bestow your light and truth upon Israel's leaders and America's leaders, ministers, and advisors, and grace them with your good counsel. Strengthen the hands of those who defend our holy land. Grant them deliverance and adorn them in a mantle of victory. Ordain peace in the land and grant its inhabitants eternal happiness. Lead them swiftly and upright to your city Zion and to Jerusalem, the abode of your name as it is written in the Torah of your servant Moses. Even if your outcasts are at the ends of the world, from there, the Lord your God will gather you. From there, he will fetch you. And the Lord your God will bring you to the land that your fathers possessed. And you shall possess it. And he will make you more prosperous and more numerous than your fathers. Draw our hearts together to revere and venerate your name. To, the, uh, to observe all the precepts of your Torah. And send us quickly the Messiah. Son of David, so he's asking for the Messiah yeah, to come. Right. We know that we know that he already came. Yeah. He's coming again in the rapture. They're looking for the second coming, what they call the first coming. Agent of your vindication to redeem those who await your deliverance. Manifest yourself in the splendor of your boldness before the eyes of all inhabitants of your world. And I'll just end it there in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Sorry, such a wordy. But he's very intelligent it's and it's, it's detailed. Yeah. The people, the people, um, the, gov the, the people of Israel, the country of Israel, the captives and the soldiers. Yeah. And so um, um, I just, uh, we thank you so much for, for communicating with us on the Final Hour podcast. It might always 
uh, take us time to return your emails. And remember today, I was not saying that this was done on purpose. I was not saying no. that that I did not, uh, uh, you know, you can believe what you want, right, about 9-11, George Bush, and, you know, what I was bringing up today. It's just unfathomable. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's not right. fathomable. Right. Mm -hmm. Bubble. It's hard to fathom. Fathomable. That they took the troops off the border the very, the, the day of the biggest attack. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it, it, it's a it, crazy coincidence. It's really hard to believe if you know Israel. It's hard, hard, hard to believe. It's kind of like a, how it's hard to believe uh, that 9-11 happened the day after Rumsfeld announced that they'd misplaced over $2 trillion. Oh, that's right. Yes. It's an interesting theory. coincidence. It's not even a theory. Yeah, we could, <laughs> we, could do, we could do some stuff on 9-11, but I'm just not going to... I'm not going to get into that, no. right? You do your own research on yep. that, and I'm not promoting a point of view there nope. on any of this. I'm just trying to give you the different things to look at here. Um, um, we appreciate you. Please do subscribe. Subscribe to the Final Hour Podcast. God bless you. Uh, we love you, and I prayed for yes. you. I have prayed for our listeners, our viewers, and our subscribers. I did for your safety, your protection today is what I did for you. Thank you for tuning in to the Final Hour Podcast. Thank you.